Have you ever wondered how a chameleon changes colors? You've probably seen a video of one changing colors, but how is it even able to achieve such deception? It all happens with thousands of tiny, tiny organs called chromatophores. A chromatophore is a sac-like organ, and its function is to hold dye and to stretch or contract when told to by the nerves. You can think of it as a water balloon. We'll attach several strings and voila, a chromatophore. When the muscles or strings are told to contract, it will stretch the water balloon, spreading the dye and making it look much paler. But how could a chameleon even have such a range of colors? Does each chromatophore organ hold a different color? And even if it does, would that color be in the right spot at the right time? Well, the answer is not quite. Remember that chameleons have thousands of these chromatophores, and many are stacked on top of each other like a roll of pennies. And simply by expressing each one individually and differently, you can have a wide range of colors with only a handful of dyes, mainly red, brown, and yellow. Now, it might be easy for you to think about the advantages of active camouflage, the main one being that you get to hide from what wants to eat you, or maybe perhaps a little less obvious one like thermal regulation. For example, the desert chameleon makes the side of the body facing the sun white in order to cool it down, or it does the opposite in those cold desert mornings to warm up. And I think to most people the advantages do seem obvious, but have you ever considered that there might be some disadvantages? One of the main disadvantages is that in order to stay camouflaged, you need to be moving very slowly or not at all. Easy prey for a swift predator. And manipulating thousands of chromatophores also requires a lot of energy. And you know, I say all these thoughts only to help you realize that in biology, most adaptations are what we call trade-offs. A positive trait like camouflage is usually traded for a negative trait like high energy cost or slow movement. It's really all a game of trade-offs. Good traits versus bad traits, yin and yang. Hey guys, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. This is the first episode of Bioblast and I hope I've earned your subscription. Stay tuned for more.